we're going to be looking at a new operation and that's called cross product and so it seems a lot like multiplying but really it's not the result is a perpendicular vector and we always write cross product like this u cross v so it looks just like the time symbol and so here I am in three space I have two vectors as you can see and what I'm going to do is I am going to calculate the cross product so u cross v and it's really hard to see because I've ended up with a very big vector but this vector is perpendicular in every way to the other two. So there's my cross product vector. And as you can see, if I'm ready to manipulate the original two, my cross product vector is going to change as well. But the one thing that remains constant is it's always going to be perpendicular to the original two. Cross product is not that easy to calculate. We're going to do one numerical example and we're going to use a pattern to help us calculate the cross product. When we're given two vectors, I arrange the numbers thusly. I take the second coordinate in the first vector, the third coordinate, the z coordinate, the x coordinate, and then I end in the y coordinate again. And I arrange them like that. Similarly, for the second vector, I start with the y coordinate, line it up underneath the first vector y coordinate, the z coordinate, the x coordinate, and I end in the y coordinate again. I've spread them out a little bit just to make it a little more obvious to follow. Next is the operation that's going to give me the three coordinates of the resulting vector. And so I'm going to take 4 and multiply it by negative 6 and I am going to subtract 5 multiplied by negative 2. Then I'm going to take negative 2 and multiply it by 1 and subtract negative 6 multiplied by 3 and that's going to be my next coordinate. To get the last coordinate I take 3 and I multiply it by 5 and I subtract 1 multiplied. And so the ultimate result of all that work is that. Negative 24 plus 10 is my x-coordinate, negative 2 plus 18 is my y-coordinate, 15 minus 4 is my z-coordinate, and there is the vector that is a result of that cross product calculation by 4. Just to have a look at that actual construction in 3 space, there are my two vectors, and it might not be that obvious that those are the vectors we chose, and what I'm going to do is I am going to construct the cross product of those two vectors. And so 3, 4, negative 2 cross 1, 5, negative 6. And there's my cross product vector. As you can see, it's perpendicular. And it has those coordinates. And so that is the calculation of cross product.